Hello and welcome to Force 13's latest prediction for the upcoming Northern Hemisphere Cyclone Seasons. 2025 marks our 10th season of forecasts and we didn't quite catch the April predictions, it uh, passed us by somewhat, but we are here for the proper predictions, which have always been the proper predictions, the May 31st ones, and we're happy to bring that to you here on the eve of Atlantic hurricane season. Uh, Western, Western Pacific, Pacific, we are expecting then 25 tropical storms in total, 15 typhoons and 8 major Category 3 typhoons. Compared to average, uh, we are expecting a 63% chance of a near average season. So another prediction that's in the average column, 18% um, below average and 19% uh, chance of an above average season. Once again, average is somewhere between around 24 to about 30, typh uh, 30 tropical storms, not typhoons. Around 24 to 30 tropical storms is the average mark for the Western Pacific. Looking at the tracks this year, it could have quite a diverse array of tracks, but again, we're a little bit worrisome about the certainty about this and just how strong these storms might get too. We are a bit concerned that there's a few strong, strong analogues for that have powerful typhoons. In fact, we're giving this year a one in three chance, 33% of a category five landfall once again, somewhere in the Western Pacific. And you guessed it, number one hotspot for that is the Philippines. Um, if that does happen, the most likely spot will be somewhere in central or northern Luzon, usual kind of place. I mean, it is quite common, it has to be said, but again, one in three chance of a Category 5 landfall, and the most likely uh, significant typhoon tracks will take it through the northern Philippines, and possibly one or two curving just off Luzon, heading towards Taiwan, or making a full recurvature towards Japan. Speaking of Japan, that's one spot that we are giving a higher than usual chance, particularly in the Kansai region, where we are expecting, I think, one area of 45 or even 60% chance of tropical storm conditions. Uh, in terms of activity in general, it's going to be near average, as mentioned, one or two below average months. It's going to be quite steady according to our forecast, of course, it is just a little idea. We have no idea just how many storms we'll get per month, uh, but it looks like this is another season that could end up being backloaded towards the end with quite powerful storms, maybe, a la 2006 possibly. Um, that is one of the analogues this season, and that was a dreadful end of year for the Philippines region not saying that is absolutely going to happen but it is something to be considered that we could have another very busy end of season finale um, so storm numbers expect to be a little bit below average just by one or two percentage points and uh, looking at the percentage chances for impact, once again, they are down upon last year. If you remember 2024's forecast, there were quite a few areas that had a 60%, and if a couple that had 80%. We've got none of them right now, but one or two 60% spots. Okinawa, obviously, northeastern Taiwan, around about the same place that Gamey made landfall last year, another potential hotspot this year, and of course, a large park. Uh, considerably large really more than climatological uh, for a large chunk of the northern philippine islands extending into the northern visayas region more further south less chance but still there is always a chance that there could be a low latitude storm late in the season that could go on to affect the southern visayas region or even mindanao uh, Vietnam looking a little bit on the average side, if not a little bit below average actually, especially further south. Gulf of Tonkin will be the hot spot around Hainan, northern Hainan through the Litsu Peninsula of China. Um, oh, and one other thing about the Western Pacific to really got to mention here, southwestern chunk of South Korea uh, could also be a significant anomaly this year for above average activity. So look out for that. We have our numbers for the 2025 upcoming seasons. It's taken a lot of research that we've put into this. Uh, we hope we've done a good job. It's not infallible, absolutely not. Um, and the conditions do change throughout the year. Um, and like I said as well, 
In fact, I don't think I've said this yet, but looking at the El Nino uh, Enso pattern, it is pretty neutral, which means that there's a lot of uncertainty. And even the Enso forecast is quite uncertain because we don't know if we might just pop up into a positive for a while, maybe even getting towards a weak El Nino, or whether we'll just be uh, staying neutral and then dropping back down towards the La Nina towards the end of the season. You can uh, react to all of this on our Discord server. You can check out discord.gg slash force13 uh, to check chat with other weather watchers from around the world join discussion you can also find all of our social media links on our link tree uh, and you can also join the team if you want to help us out during our coverage this season uh, and be on our streams and uh, help give out really important information at really crucial times uh, please send us a message you can email us contact at force13.com or get in touch through one of those afore aforementioned outlets